service learning and connect to that. Because if I can connect my work to that, I'm going to get more support for the work that I believe in. So one of the ways that I connect... We also talked about the flip Ah, the flip. Okay, yeah. Uh, what I like about the assessment is that the teacher uh, does it in more like less stressful ways. So mm -hmm. students, for they work in groups, they discuss, they, they are given uh, the questions that facilitate their high education skills. So they discuss, they share, and only after that, the teacher asks the students to do individual quizzes. Mm. And when I was watching this video, I realized actually that I do something similar in my classroom. I do it intuitively, so, but I do it for speaking assignments. So for example, I... Some of them 
has suffered from abuse, HIV, um, some of them come from low income families. And then what we do is that we involve our students. So we share um, brochures with the community about you know this problem that we have that is abuse. So we have women abuse, children abuse. And also we have students that are immigrants and we receive them throughout the year. So what we want to encourage our students that they have to do this, but they also have rights. So there was a one uh, woman chat with his friend teacher uh, about some school in the rural area where students mm -hmm. suffered from underfunding, now uh, not enough books, uh, not enough other supplies, and uh, the friend told Avanak that uh, it would be nice to help them. And Avanak took it seriously. He reached out to his uh, students in his classroom uh, to uh, inspire them to help. And uh, the students liked the idea, they uh, went to their parents to sign some sort of consent. And the parents uh, not only signed these uh, consent forms, they also invested. They brought uh, money, uh, books, notebooks, uh, all the teachers of the school, tw 20, uh, 200, 200 teachers were also involved with their students and even the principal uh, uh, gave, gave their share and they uh, collected a lot a lot and they get, went to this school and had a very inspiring meeting and sharing and it was, uh, I don't know, maybe for his students it was like an event of their life. They asked that, well, that please let's do it again. It's a good thought, a really uh, great thing to do. Uh, the terminal class, usually students are not able to use, uh, use language, they, they are not able to communicate fluently. And this is like the most uh, crucial problem in teaching. So she wants to organize some seminars and workshops for teachers so that t teachers can realize the importance of this problem, that they have to change some, something in order to encourage students to learn, in order to motivate them, uh, in order to involve them into learning process. To the environment. And what they do, they um, encourage students and they have them like go to the streets and collect trash from the street and make posters out of the, some of the trash and I think this is something very important because if we um, for example in my country we have the same problem the trash problem but if we could like say okay if we can like um, make all the students in the country aware of the problem and we have a number or uh, a great number of people who will not like too much trash in the streets that's gonna make like a very important um, difference like uh, related to the criteria of trash in the streets and she and her colleague made the so, I tried to address the secondary science problem by using technologies as we know, nowadays, students in, in my country especially, they have a, a technology of, uh, exposure. So every, uh, every, most of the kids got to get it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give a free education by uh, simplifying the context of science and content. For example, uh, I will reach them through my website. Uh, this is my website. about it. Um, it was an initiative started by me and a friend of mine. We have a lot of students who are suffering from autism, ADHD, and a lot of mental health issues. <coughs> Some of the work we have been doing in Venezuela, I'm part of an organization similar to the one that Cell mentioned, it's called Ventiso, and we have representatives in the, each of our states. 
And what we try to do is to encourage the CPD of all of the teachers in our communities. Because, for example, where I live, there is not too much opportunity for people to practice English or to get updating or tips or teaching. So what we do is to try to give or to make seminars, conventions, to, to create kind of an English speaker in the speaking environment for teachers to practice and to learn. I know at the very beginning it will be difficult, people will resist some kind of a change, but they will be accustomed to this later on. In my context in Egypt, we are working, the Minister of Education, with the supervision of British Council, are having some, what we call, National Teacher Training Program, NTTP, in Egypt. And we just, we have just groups of WhatsApp groups for teachers in each district, in each state, just to call teacher for this training. We have Facebook groups, we have WhatsApp group, we have just a, day, a monthly three sessions per month. Each session lasts for three hours. So nine hours per month. Each month we have nine hours. So I will go with mine first. Sure. Apart from the... You have to find a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's involved yeah. in so many. Yeah, <laughs> apart from what I shared earlier, I'm also involved in an NGO called Undi Sabah. Undi means vote. Okay, vote Sabah. So sure. it aims to... Uh, uh, to encourage civic participation among the youth. So for, I, am, I, I, I joined that organization as a volunteer, and then I also uh, conducted programs for the youth in my home state. As for uh, Zaya, what she shared was she's also in volunteering. She volunteered with uh, the UN uh, in Mongolia. So, and also she has created, uh, she and initiated a volunteering program for her students. So she also extended something similar to her, for her students, what she's doing for herself, uh, what she's involved in, and also she, uh, she, also, extended this, she also extended her passion uh, to her students so that the, the students could also, uh, to inculcate a passion for you know, service learning and all that. Because, so, because what I see is the connection between what Justin said yesterday about service learning is also involved in what both of us are doing back home. Yeah. yeah. And okay. I didn't know this, right? When I invited Justin to come yesterday, I, I knew about Zell's work because I saw the article, but I didn't know for others. What I'm loving and hearing <laughs> is pretty much all of you are already doing things as well. So it was a nice match for Justin to kind of talk about what we've done here and, and you see the connection and, and beyond. So that was sort of a, a, a gamble on my, I didn't know for sure. But I'm seeing that you're more than just Fulbright's, right? You have so much more going on. So.